Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. Today I'd like to talk to you about input aliasing. Input aliasing can be very helpful if you have inputs that you commonly use for the same task. For example, my drum set, I typically will route my kick, my snares, my overheads, and so on to the same inputs every time. Now, you can create track templates to map that, but you can also alias the names of your inputs in Reaper so that each name that shows for your input choices mirrors what's actually being plugged in. Let's take a look. We'll start by clicking on Options in the top menu, go to Preferences, and Audio. In the Audio Settings menu, you'll see at the bottom there's Channel Naming and Mapping. You can do this for either the input or the output, or both. In this example, we'll just be looking at the input. I'll click Edit Names and Map. And today I connected a tube preamp with two channels that I routed into my Roland Studio Capture on channels 13 and 14. So I'll start by double clicking on channel 13 and I will alias that with tube pre channel 1. And I'll do the same for 14 except give that channel 2. As you can see, hardware inputs 13 and 14 are now called tube pre channels 1 and 2 respectively. I'll enable this option in the audio preferences. And now, if I look in Reaper and choose my input for a track, I now have two pre-channel 1 and 2 listed for tracks 13 and 14. I hope this has been helpful. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and if you'd like to support the channel further, you can do so by clicking on the Buy Me A Coffee link below. I like coffee. I mean, I really like coffee, but this Skittles-flavored water is fantastic. I should probably tell them about this in a video or something. They might like it, too.